The Darkhold is a very important and dangerous artifact within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which has a long and storied history within the iconic film franchise that many viewers may not be aware of. So today, we're going to take a closer look at where the Darkhold came from, what it's been through, and who it has affected. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. Here at Key Issues, we are concerned with security. After all, who isn't? Developed by top IT and cybersecurity specialists in 2019, Atlas VPN keeps over 6 million subscribers safe each month as they browse the web. If you don't know what a VPN is, it is a virtual private network. It encrypts your data and keeps you secure so that the nefarious entities of the internet can't see what you're doing online. Atlas VPN is providing our viewers a huge discount. That means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99. That's $1.99 with a 30-day money-back guarantee. One subscription covers all of your devices and protects you from the dangerous malware and annoying advertisements that have become frequent on the internet these days. It even scans online databases to make sure that there haven't been any breaches in your own personal data. That's called being proactive. But that's not all. Using a VPN allows you to bypass annoying geo restrictions associated with streaming providers like Netflix, giving you access to a world of content you might not regularly see. Also, geotagging customers allows some retailers to change prices depending on where you live. Atlas helps you get the best deals when shopping online, no matter where you are. This deal is a steal, and not like the stealing that the crooks on the web do every day to gullible people not using a VPN. This is a good steal. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month, again, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. Now, pay attention very closely to this next part. Take notes if you need to. For the purposes of this video, we will be considering the Marvel television series created prior to Disney Plus as canon because, well, they are, but that's a video for another day. So if you're going to piss your pants in my comment section because we reference Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., this may not be the video for you. And don't even get started with, well, the Darkhold looks different. Well, the Hulk looks different between Incredible Hulk and Avengers. Stuff gets redesigned. It's fine. Additionally, we already have a complete comic book history video for the Darkhold. This video is not going to reference the comic book version, so if you want to learn about that, go check out that video instead. For every other normal person out there, this is the complete history of the Darkhold in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Darkhold is a tome which goes by many names, the Book of Sins, the Book of the Damned, names that should let you know right away that this is not something to be taken lightly. Long ago, the first demon, Cathan, built a temple upon the peak of Wondagore Mountain. There he carved various spells, incantations, prophecies, and dark sorceries into the walls, which were eventually transcribed into book form, which became the Darkhold. Adorned with a twisted depiction of the Yggdrasil, and containing powerful dark magic as well as the foretelling of the Scarlet Witch, the Darkhold became a precious and curious volume of forgotten lore, coveted by sorcerers and witches across the globe. Many legends about the origins of the Darkhold permeated throughout time, with many believing it came from Hell or was created out of Dark Matter. However, the Darkhold wasn't said to be a singular grimoire with set information. While it contained specific chapters, such as the Scarlet Witch Prophecy, in reality it contained infinite cursed knowledge that would reveal to the reader the means to obtain what they wanted through twisted instruction. So, whoever stumbles across it can read the sorceries contained within. The very process of reading the Darkhold corrupts the user and causes more damage than possibly intended when used by someone with even good intentions. It simply cannot be wielded safely without losing a piece of yourself or risking complete corruption. Think of it as an even more dangerous monkey's paw. The Darkhold became a fabled artifact and was lost throughout various points in time, changing hands and wreaking havoc throughout the centuries. The first user of the Darkhold that we are aware of is Morgan Le Fay, an extremely powerful witch who lived during the Middle Ages and battled against King Arthur Pendragon, the King of Britain who wielded the legendary Excalibur. During this time, Morgan was corrupted by the power of the Darkhold and became very possessive of it, like Gollum in the One Ring. 
Morgan considered the dark hole to be hers and hers alone until she was banished to the dark dimension by a close friend. After losing its longtime owner, the Darkhold was itself lost to time yet again, but was cemented within Arthurian legend, waiting for another to seek it out. While it may have had various owners since Morgan, the next individual who did their best to locate the Lost Book of Spells was Johann Schmidt, the Red Skull. The enigmatic leader of Hydra was consumed with power, and in his search for ancient artifacts such as the Tesseract, he made the Darkhold a top priority, although he was unable to ever actually locate it. After seemingly taking down Hydra, S.H.I.E.L.D. came into possession of many of their files, and eventually director Nicholas J. Fury, another figure obsessed with legends and powerful beings, took it upon himself to look into Red Skull's fascination with the Darkhold. Fury had a file created for the book and spent decades searching for it, always looking for a way to keep the world safe by whatever means he could, but Fury was also unsuccessful in locating Cathan's Chez du Vra. It wasn't discovered again until an unlikely couple uncovered it. Lucy and Joseph Bauer found the Darkhold buried in the basement of an abandoned house, which was the family home of the person who had killed the Darkhold's previous owner. Lucy and Joseph were members of a privately funded think tank at Momentum Labs, and after stumbling upon the Darkhold, they used it to create a machine which defied the laws of nature. The Darkhold revealed to them the means to create this device, which would siphon energy from the Dark Dimension. After witnessing this impossible feat of engineering, Eli Morrow became jealous of the two and coveted the book for himself. So Eli made a move to kill them along with the other members of the Think Tank and take the book for himself. And if you're gonna kill your co-workers, you should probably go the Patrick Bateman way instead of what Eli did because it didn't end up being that simple. He had thought he had killed every member other than Joseph, when in reality, he mistakenly turned them into ghost-like beings and trapped them in the lab using the technology created by the Darkhold. Eventually, he went after Joseph, who refused to reveal the location of the book. Eli then beat Joseph so badly that he put him into a coma. Following this attack, Eli was arrested and sent to prison for his assault. Eventually, the spirits of Eli's former co-workers escaped their containment units and coveted a way to read the Darkhold once again, since they could not, and this is when S.H.I.E.L.D. became involved. So Lucy went after Morrow to have him read the Darkhold, but sometime later, Morrow was broken out of prison with the help of his nephew, Robbie Reyes, the Ghost Rider. But Morrow was eventually found by Lucy, who forced him to read the Darkhold so he could create a device that would return her to her human state of being. The Darkhold revealed the means to create the quantum particle generator, but S.H.I.E.L.D. was hot on their trail, who eventually located the two and recovered the Darkhold. However, Morrow was able to use his machine to grant himself superpowers. Phil Coulson and Leo Fitz were hit with an energy from the machine and were seemingly wiped from existence, but they were actually trapped between dimensions, being dragged into the dark dimension from their own. While in this state, Coulson could hear voices emanating from the Darkhold, similarly to Wanda Maximoff when she obtained the tome during the events of WandaVision. Desperate to save Coulson, Melinda May took the Darkhold to Holden Radcliffe, a genius scientist and inventor. She begged him to use it to save her teammates, but after opening the Darkhold, he closed it in shock, stating that the information revealed to him was too much for the human mind to bear. So his android assistant, Ada, takes it upon herself to read the book, which revealed its secrets to her in her native language, Binary. The Darkhold showed Ada how to build an interdimensional gateway, which they used to save Coulson and Fitz. But of course, as the Darkhold does, it corrupted both Radcliffe as well as Ada, and the two betrayed S.H.I.E.L.D. This caused a massive back and forth where various parties attempted to keep possession of the book and take it from the other. Eventually, Radcliffe and Ada obtained it, and Ada ultimately used the book to achieve her ultimate goal of becoming human, which she does. This event triggered a rift in space-time to the Dark Dimension, which Ghost Rider emerged from. The Spirit of Vengeance was hell-bent on tracking down Ada and obtaining the Darkhold. S.H.I.E.L.D. worked with Ghost Rider to lay a trap for Ada and then destroyed her. Following this saga, Ghost Rider took the Darkhold to the Dark Dimension, or as he called it, Hell so no innocent souls would ever be corrupted by it again. 
Unfortunately for Ghost Rider, Morgan Le Fay, one of the most experienced wielders of the Darkhold, resided within the Dark Dimension and took possession of the book once he arrived. And after tricking Nico Minoro into freeing her from the Dark Dimension, Morgan brought the Book of the Damned back to Earth. Long story short, Morgan planned to merge the Dark Dimension with Earth, as Caecilius had attempted a few years prior. But Morgan was stopped by Caecilius' former ally, fellow resident of Carmertage and master of the Mystic Arts, Tina Minoru, who used the spell contained within the Darkhold to banish Morgan back to the Dark Dimension. Many years later, a powerful witch who survived Salem named Agatha Harkness procured the accursed spellbook for herself, and after sensing the magical energy which created the Hex in Westview, New Jersey, she went to investigate. Using the power of the Darkhold, she managed to prevent herself from being influenced by Wanda and made a plan to take the Scarlet Witch's power for herself. However, not even Agatha, being amplified by the dark magic contained within the Darkhold, could defeat the Scarlet Witch. After losing her magical duel to Wanda, the Darkhold changed hands, and Wanda Maximoff began studying its contents, searching for a way to reunite with her lost children, whom she heard crying out to her within the pages of the Book of Sins. As Wanda continued to read, the Darkhold's corruption began to take a firmer and firmer hold upon her, revealing ways to reunite with her two sons. It is implied that the Darkhold revealed to Wanda a being capable of allowing her to travel across dimensional realities to obtain that which she desired most. Taking full advantage of the infinite knowledge of the Darkhold, Wanda began summoning demons to capture that being, America Chavez, who began to run for her life throughout the infinite multiverse. Luckily for America, various versions of Doctor Strange would assist her, and despite falling to the demons Wanda had summoned, had bought America enough time to make it to Wanda's reality, where yet another Doctor Strange would attempt to assist her. Strange, of course, made the worst possible decision and went to Wanda for help, but quickly found out that she had been corrupted by the Darkhold, a book he had learned about during his time at Comrade Hodge. He warned Wanda that the book was evil, that it corrupts everyone who reads it, but Wanda could no longer be reasoned with. She gave Strange an ultimatum, give her the girl, or she would be forced to take her. Using the power of the Darkhold and her own latent magical abilities, the Scarlet Witch dismantled Comertage, but before taking America for herself, Chavez opened a portal to the multiverse where she and Strange escaped to. Wanda then opened the Darkhold and used the dreamwalking spell contained within it to transfer her consciousness into a variant version of herself in the universe where America and Steven landed. However, while dreamwalking, Wanda was left vulnerable and unaware of her surroundings, so one of the surviving sorcerers, Sarah Wolf, took this opportunity to destroy the Darkhold. Enraged, the Scarlet Witch convinced the Sorcerer Supreme, Wong, to reveal the origin of the Darkhold by torturing his friends, including Rintra. Like, no one thought it was weird they never mentioned where this Minotaur guy came from. Like, he was in a ton of different promotional material, he had his own poster, he had his own Marvel Legends figure. Kevin Feige and Sam Raimi watched this movie back, and no one brought up the fact that this guy is just in the movie with no explanation? Who is he? Where is he from? Why is he green? No? Okay, anyway. Wong was forced to take Wanda to the temple atop Wondergore Mountain, where she found the original Darkhold carvings, and that the temple was in actuality a throne for the prophesied Scarlet Witch. Using the original inscriptions, she was able to continue to chase America throughout the multiverse, eventually capturing her and returning the child back to Earth-616, where she could siphon America's powers. Desperate to return to his Earth to save America, Doctor Strange sought out a variant of himself for help, but this variant was corrupted by his dimension's Darkhold. After battling and killing the variant of himself, Strange was forced to use this alternate Darkhold to dreamwalk into the body of the deceased Doctor Strange that was buried on his Earth to battle the Scarlet Witch. Strange was eventually able to assist America, who ultimately defeated Wanda. After being freed from the corruption of the Darkhold, Wanda destroyed the Darkhold castle so no one would ever be corrupted by the evil Grimoire again, ending the saga for now.
While that is the complete history of the Darkhold on our Earth, we do know that the other Doctor Stranges in other universes have used it before, notably the Doctor Strange of 838, who caused an incursion, destroying an entire universe by meddling with the power of the Darkhold. So it's an extremely powerful and dangerous volume, which in any user's hands will ultimately lead to death and destruction. I mean, it was written by a demon after all. So that's all we've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check out our other lore videos, and if you're interested in the comic book lore of the Darkhold, like we mentioned earlier, we do have a video for that as well. Remember to like and subscribe. It does really, really help us out. Leave a comment below and all that fun stuff. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and remember the motto, it's the Darkhold over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.